Alright, go to the left. Go to the left, you little son of a bitch. It's the hamburger helper hand. I hope we burn that woman on the street at some point. Rude. <laughs> like only the ashes of a knitter will get you entrance to a fucking... Whoa, whoa, we do not say knitter anymore. <laughs> Sorry. We don't say the K word. <laughs> So, what sort of folksy wisdom do you have for me this time, you jack? I'm just angry at everything right now. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. Have fun with it. Are you Andre Labino? Aren't we all Andre Labino? I know I am. Deep inside, no, where it doesn't show. You may be able to help me. Help? My name Was the is cop George always Stewart. Hitler? I'd like your professional. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that might be a trick question. Does the name Montfaucon mean anything to you? <laughs> sure. It was the most grisly spectacle in Paris until the... I Revolution. love my grisly spectacles. It looks like he's got his hand in his pants while he's talking. Like he's doing a little pocket pool while we're talking. You know how the French are. A grim exhibit. That's what I call my penis. That's what I call your mom. <laughs> Uh, she says hi, by the way. <laughs> that explains the image of the I, I feel like we're both, like our char both of these characters are just making shit up. Yes, I think so. If somebody came up to me and was like, "Have you heard of Montfaucon?" I would be like, "Yes." It was the site of the most grisly spectacle in our nation's history. Do you know Pegram well? Not really. I met him at a conference. I would have liked to talk to him in depth, but I didn't have time. How do you not have when time? Was... Everybody has time. Time oh, is a uh, fucking constant. Summer, it's like a uh, dimension. July, I think the second week of July. Maybe this game has very little dimension, yes, really. Was, uh, just before Bastille Day. So people. I don't remember the lyrics to Russia's Bastille Day, but everybody just pretend that I put in a reference there. Pardon? Yeah, and we can insert time in a bottle, you know, like, 30 seconds ago, and yeah, I don't have to do it, do I? There would be... We're approaching the point where there are enough songs out there now that we could probably just literally do a riff and just song clips. <laughs> you know, that might be fun. A lot more work, though. Yeah. Like, there are lots of great songs out there that use gibbet. There are certain people who stop at nothing to get their hands. Yeah, that um, intriguing. Uh, famous do you have a copy of the text? Dutch there isn't hymn. Much. Only a few Latin a gibbet for my lord. I was kind of hoping you'd help decipher the pictures. Without seeing the manuscript, uh, that's a tall order. Just tell decipher me Decipher the pictures, thing. but you can't see them. What is the image of two men riding on the same horse? Almost sexuality. In Knights Templar. Does the Templar seal uh, appear on this manuscript? I'd love to see that one. One day. Can oh, you right tell me there. anything about the Knights Templar? I sure can. Their symbol sure is two men so riding on the same the horse. There you go. Told you. Bankers, you name it. Fucking enjoy that. Georgie, that's the, the, the brother of the... the, the from the yeah. Jeez. How did the Templars get their name? From the building in it's which they set up their Yeah, that was obvious, isn't it? The king of Jerusalem <laughs> gave a part of a mosque. <laughs> but we don't know which temple exactly. This was before Wikipedia, so... <laughs> My left temple. I think that's what kills adventure games more than anything else in the modern world, is that... You know, there are no... The the, so the, like, all of this uh, investigation would just literally be you clicking on a computer while playing on a computer. Or cop, if you put them in the right order. <laughs> The Templars soon held land in France, Scotland, he England, fairly notoriously Spain, did none of those three things, Europe, but that might fact, be hearsay. The or heresy. Of Christ <laughs> became the wealthiest power in Christendom. No one says Christendom anymore. Is it true the treasure mm. of the Knights Templar was never found? I mean, uh, how often does Templar so come little up knowledge of what Fair really enough. Remains? I mean, oh, Dan Brown does, the truth has never mentions been them, public. but... What do you mean by that? Or Umberto Eco. The Definitely Umberto Eco. Status, like the King he probably Arthur is one. The there are people even now who say and Foucault. No, I 
Do you think that's I doubt likely? Echo is no. one, since Not for a minute. this pendulum is all about mocking them. Thanks for your help, Andre. That's You're to welcome. throw you off the scent. <laughs> All right, finger, fuck off. <laughs> oh, what about this brick? I'm rubbing it. Do you like that? Do you like how I rub that brick? Yeah, yeah. The, uh, I, I just, like, that's one of my kind of hipster knee-jerk responses, is if anybody mentions Dan Brown, I've got to be like, Foucault's Pendulum, Umberto Echo. It's a little rain man. Oh, we're gonna go fucking call this chick and update her on every second of our journey. I still like the framed Excuse placenta me. on the wall. What do you want now? Have you heard of a man called Marquet? Yes. He used to be known as the Mole of Mama. I have these been That's hospitalized you just made that up. by one of his arrivals. <laughs> Again. It's much more entertaining, I think, to just assume that everyone is randomly answering him with bullshit. Right. Why was Marquet known as the Mole of Mama? He tunneled under lots of buildings and stole money from banks by doing it that way. I don't know. Also had big brown spots and lumps all over his face. They weren't moles, as it turns out, but chocolate kisses. Where is the victim? I'm the victim. I've been harassed by a pair of thugs. I see. And where did this alleged assault take place? Outside the Hotel Ubu. They stopped me as I was leaving and went through my pockets. Could you describe the suspects, monsieur? One looked like a gorilla, and the other looked like a weasel. Their names are Flat and Guido. Boom. I'll get them this time. <laughs> if not for the damn the dirty dog. The gorilla and the weasel. The gorilla and the weasel. What fun they have together, the pair. gorilla and the weasel. Now's my chance. I'll show them. And the inspector. That will be show my legacy. Inspector, you son of a bitch. I'm only doing my duty, monsieur. Duty. Is Rosso here? Yes, he is. You wish to speak to him? Mm. Thumbs up. Yes, I do. One moment, monsieur. I did not get such dramatic music. Huh. It's Stobart, monsieur. He insists on talking to you again. He didn't insist. He just said it. Whatever. Thank you, Moo. This guy's moo. Moo. He's just the big face of disdain. He walks a little funny. Yeah. What now? I think walking must be really difficult to animate. Like in all the you know games that we watch, it seems like people freedom? always walk like like puppeting. Since they graduated from yeah. special school. Flap is a nasty piece of work. But Guido is the real brains of the partnership. Where I wouldn't expect someone named Flat to be the brains. Of the hotel Ubu. <laughs> That's how they get you. Have you heard of Professor Pegram, the archaeologist? Smokescreen. Pegram, the second son of Lord Bartram. Sure, why not? Pegram? I don't know. I only read about him in a magazine. So much I understand he's a Leo. He likes long walks on the beach and shaves his what pubes into a triangle. This time? <laughs> he made an important archaeological find in Ireland. Okay. Do you know Pegram well? I have connections with the family, but I wouldn't... No, but I'd like a Seagram 7 now and then. Is his name that's, uh, that's how you say you're with the Mafia. I have connections with the family. It's true. All his friends and acquaintances know him as Molly. Well, but that's weird, right? I mean, like, is he trans? Or... I probably, I would say a drug reference, except I don't think Molly was Molly back then. Well... This is Molly pre-transition. How come he's on the loose? His bravado is matched only by the courtroom skills of his attorney. I, okay. Have you heard of the Knights nice <laughs> Templar? Oh, Jesus Jesus Christ. But of course, monsieur, their fame is widespread throughout... I'm gonna go into local police stations and ask them if they've heard of the Knights Templar. Unlike the rest of Europe, it was the King of France who persecuted them, though. Indeed. You see how, like, shook his much the voice actor was like, I can't sell this line. It was the king of France who persecuted them, though. You're obviously a great admirer of the Knights Templar. They were men of great honor, monsieur. The flower of chivalry. That's what I call my Not penis. everyone would share your views, <sighs> Inspector. 
Not everyone shares my passion for Bartok. Whoa. But if like, the Templars were as honorable... France sometimes just makes I random words sound like a curse. I keep expecting when he click on the little Templar cross thing, I keep expecting him to, like, throw a shuriken. Maybe his ancestors were Templars. That would be fun. Whatever. I saw the anger flare in his eyes like a different... Uh, music what? levels? The Templars were the first... Why does Stobart, like, every now and then randomly delve into purple prose? Maybe he's secretly HP Lovecraft. I must go masturbate to Bartok. Kapla! Sorry, really all I wanted to do was use your phone. I'm gonna call the chick, or okay, we aren't gonna harass the tailor. The it's George. cop at the counter it's didn't go after those criminals that he seemed very excited me. about. Yeah. Well, him, this is just know. added to okay, the list, I guess. Mm. After I that was that. a useful conversation. Yeah. That I catch that Wesley Rabbit. The Opital. Opital. Poste police. Uh, I can't see under the hand. Musée Crune. I bet we're really popular in France. Just keep going back to this Musée Crune. This game should have been called, like, Touring the Musée Crune and a Random Trip to Ireland or whatever it was. With a giant floating hand. Mm. And a mouse. It's kind of like uh, uh, Marco's hand from Tarandia. Hello, they all kind of start to tie together after a while. The manuscript yeah. is being looked after by a friend. In Paris? Yeah. Not far from here, in fact. Well, uh, just give me the address and I'll uh, come around and take a look. I'm not so sure about that. I Maybe don't I trust you because you have first. a giant she pewter breast on the ceiling. Yeah, she's a woman. Maybe it was my imagination, but I noticed a predatory look in his eye. Suddenly, a woman? His friend in the story, <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's just a, Fran a Frenchman heard it, hearing about a woman. You're welcome. Wait, there exists a woman? I will continue eye humping this exhibit. Here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just <laughs> slow erosion. Watch it work. Yeah. Thump it, thump it, thump it, thump. Don't, oh, come on, go somewhere else. Oh, my God. Hey, I almost told a guy where he lived, but then I didn't. How's it going? That's really great, George. Okay, bye. Hi, it's George. <laughs> what do you want to know? Just to hear your voice. I'm busy. If you took okay. the phone away from I'll his face, later. he would look very strange. Uh, yeah. Is this, I wonder if you, like, have to call her a certain number of times in order to, like, lay down a love plot or something. There may be some, uh, randomizing, too, like, one out of every five she says something interesting. I think our player is like, God damn it, I have to tell this creepy guy where she lives. Hi, Andre. Hello, Georgie. Hello, Georgie. Georgie? This friend who has... She's kind of hot. Uh, oui, uh, the anonymous girlfriend. Girlfriend? She lives at 361 Rue Why? Why? Ah, I'm not well. I'll drop oh, I've that. been banging her for weeks. Just as soon as... Apparently. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. You know, like, the, guard, the guard is kind of John Cleese as Hitler. Yes, I, I think that's accurate. John Cleese is in a role that will surprise you. You never hear that anymore. You never hear in a role that sur will surprise you, I guess, because we're just jaded sons of bitches now. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Cleese has played Hitler. Oh, I'm sure. Or, uh, in a sketch comedy show, you're going to play Hitler at some point, right? Mr. Bitler? What? Oh, 
Because I'm an American, and I'm not used to old things needing to be kept up. Uh, penis joke? Oh, I'll just leave it there. Excuse me. <sighs> yes, sir. Oh, old things needing to be kept up. Got it. I was, I was Is like, you talking about her hair? Or what are we, what are we <laughs> going correct. for? I thought I was in a garden center. Oh, the yeah, plant. They have very strange they gates. My idea. A little greenery to evoke the spirit of nature. How may I help what you? Her? They're all, they're standing around as if they're getting ready for a superhero cover. Has Marquet had a visit from a pair of... Like, all we need now is the Hulk standing so behind them. Can you describe them? A thin guy who looks like a weasel and his friend, the gorilla. Sounds as if they escaped from a zoo. Yeah, you like that, Mr. Stallman? I'm here to see Jacques Marquet. Oh, yes. Are you related to our client, sir? Yes, yes. Don't say no. Don't say no. Don't say wee oui, wee. Oui. No, I'm conducting a private investigation. Then I can't help Duh. you. Duh. This is the hôpital, for God's sake. So, do I get to see Marquet before the funeral? That attitude will get you nowhere. My instructions were quite clear. No one gets to see Marquet. So How about if I compliment your, your breasts? Where will that attitude get me, huh? Oh, huh, honey? Has Marquet been visited by a man in a clown Why costume? Why would he still be wearing oh, the clown no. costume? You haven't seen a man in disguise? If he's in disguise, how would you know? Theodore the Bear. <laughs> he comes every Thursday to entertain the children. Has First Theodore day, the Bear I ever left a bomb? To death in that crummy old bear suit. If I was stuck on my back with tubes in every orifice, he's the last Who's the I'd first if you're stuck on your back with tubes in every Look orifice? Look at this ID pass. Um, oh, you're Merlin. Marquet's okay. been asking for you. For me? Yes. He was shouting your name when they brought him in here. These doctors uh, are not busy now, enough. Now, let me see. <laughs> he was on Ward B12, as I recall. It's right by Ward D3. Oh, you sank my battleship. To... Oh dear, he's on Ward J2. That's <coughs> the hippest ward we have. Nurse Grendel's ward. I don't know what that. What's so bad about Nurse Grendel? She runs that ward like a South American <laughs> prison. Keeping a well-disciplined ward isn't a crime, is it? Well-disciplined. In the discipline and punishment stakes, she'd whip the butt off the Marquis de Sade. And he'd like Everything. it. Everything. I mean everything uh, done to a strict routine. Six o'clock. What's his four, name? He's the guy who wrote ten, Discipline and Punish. And I think he would be the better person to put in there Those with that phrase. Dostoevsky? She sounds like no, a real No, no, it was uh, like and a then, uh, um, philosopher or whatever. How come the authorities tolerate her? She's like I can't think of any philosophers. It was in fact Michel Foucault. No. Oh, well there you go. Yep. The pendulum swings again, well, Skicks. Alright, Riddler. This woman was jealous. With a big green capital J. That's on her chest. How do I yep. find Nurse Grendel's ward? Down the corridor on the left. Turn right at the senior consultant's washroom. The right senior again, consultant's the lot washroom. Fair left past the administrator's sauna. And turn left at the end. Something end. tells That's me the, the admin gets well paid and treated yeah. in this house. Hospital. Thanks for your help, ma'am. You're welcome. And you may want to round up these two guys. I think they're escape patients. They just want to pretend that they're in an Avengers cover. As I turned the corner, I saw the source of the hellish noise which echoed That's through the a little corners. hyperbolic. It was an industrial polishing machine with an odd-looking guy. I bet we have to head. steal that machine and do something with it. Yes. Murder somebody. Usually. I think I think you got that that part of the floor there, buddy. Yeah, it's nurse ratchet, I guess. Grendel. Yes, I know. Oh oui, monsieur. Is this ward J two? It is, but uh, you're not supposed to be here. We have strict rules about visiting hours. Can't you make an exception? I've come all the way from Come California. for fuck's sake, just tell her you that you're Merlin. I can't wait that long. What if he snuffs it? You can't talk like that here. This is no, a it's an hospital. hospital. You will have to leave. Do you have oh, any clowns on the ward? Oh, for God's sake, George. Why, yes, we do. 
A professional clown. I'll bet he lightens the place up. Pardon. Monsieur Boissy has been in a coma for the last two months. What's wrong with Boissy? He's in a he coma. He's in a very nasty accident. A silly stunt in a unicycle. It. His current condition is due to post-traumatic shock. I he guess he doesn't cause a coma. I was gonna say, yeah. It's an ill wind you can't have... Any good. I, you can't experience PTSD in a coma, right? I mean, that's not, like, saying, like, oh, well, he's in a coma, he seems pretty depressed. Hypervigilance in a coma just doesn't work so well. Of course, monsieur. What is his name? Jacques Marquet. Let me see. He's satisfactory. I was told he was dying. Oh, well, he is, but the doctor described his condition as I mean, I guess, if you don't like the guy, quite an improvement on yesterday. I guess at the end of the day, all of our conditions is dying, room. right? I mean, no, yeah. No, of course I don't. Preferential treatment like that must cost an arm and a leg. That's not my concern, monsieur. I am just here to shrug press my breasts. No, I don't. Normally I get Louis Thank to do it nurse. on Thursdays. You may come back at visiting time, monsieur. Thanks. Uh, when is that? The second Tuesday of each month. So, all that bother just to get in there, and we didn't interview it. I, I, what did we get out? I mean, God, I so know. all we learned was that there's a clown in a coma. Yeah.